Security Operation Center or SOC is the heart of cybersecurity department. A SOC setup involves the extensive participation and the teamwork as well. From setting the goals to implementing efficient procedures, every stage is complicated and critical. In today's video, we will talk about nine must-have tools for every Let's SOC. Start learning about all nine must-have tools for SOC. Okay. So the very first and important tool uh, or category of tool is threat intelligence platform. The best thing about the threat intelligence platform or TIP is that it's focused on enriching your data, your alerts. The moment you get the alert, you get the idea if this alert has certain IP address, certain domain, what is the context behind it? Okay, so this makes your uh, job easier. This helps you. This helps you with the open source intelligence uh this can be details about news social media hacker group, hacker forum or maybe commercial threat intelligence feeds which could be related to known vulnerabilities malware signatures emerging threats all those information let's talk about some of the uh, popular category of tools in it the first tool is which is very very popular i personally use it a lot it's virus total second is cisco talus it's again a free um, then we have microsoft defender threat intelligence it's a commercial tool alien vault otx this is free freely available you can just search on otx you will find this abuse ipdb this is completely free open taxi this is the format on which the threat intelligence information are shared okay all right so now let's talk about the second one which is the edr this is the most important thing as a SOC analyst you would be spending most of your time working on edr edr monitors the endpoints such as laptop servers for any kind of malicious suspicious activity or compromise activity as well you can also use them to perform any investigation threat hunting or respond to any incident as well so it has quite a lot of features from behavior behavioral analysis to monitor activities like application behavior looking for suspicious activity like unauthorized access or registry modifications maybe or suspicious network connection into the system now the popular tool in this category is crowdstrike falcon this is very very popular sentinel one singularity platform Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and Elastic. So these are some of the most popular tools, but all of these are commercial. So these are paid tool. If you want to go for a free one or open source, I would recommend Wazoo as well. I've also written a book on Wazoo. Uh, if you are interested, you can go and look at on Amazon. This has quite a lot of stuff from EDR to SIM and practical use cases. All right, so let's move to the second category of tool which is extensive extended sorry extended detection and response xdr now xdr is very much similar to the edr itself just like edr focus just on the endpoint xdr focus on uh, beyond that maybe it might it may include the network devices uh, application and many more so its focus is combining data from multiple sources as I said, not just endpoint, but even from the router switches, firewalls, application data and everything. So the correlation become very easier in those situations. For example, it might also take the firewall logs as well, proxy logs as well. So this makes your intelligence very, very faster. Um, you know, you would be able to uh, identify any un unnoticed traffic, malicious uh, activity communication happening in the strange server or unusual logging attempt across multiple devices, okay? So you get the better visibility. Let's talk about the important tools in it. Again, the same tools are very much there. Uh, CrowdStrike Falcon XDR, Palo Alto Cortex XDR, Cisco also have, have has got XDR, Sentinel-1 Singularity Platform, okay? Now let's talk about the fourth one, which is SIM, of course. This is the, I would say this is the most important thing you should really learn about. Um, and just the way you spend your time with EDR, you also have to work with these SIM solutions as well, because this is must for every organization, even in terms of compliance. So SIM offers a centralized platform management for monitoring, managing security related events from 
multiple sources it could be your endpoint it could be your application maybe you know you are running sap uh, sap erp solution you have your azure cloud you have your aws cloud so the job of sim is to collect the events from everything right? and then it might store it or might help you for security investigation let's say something happened in the past so with the sim solution you can investigate what was happened what was the artifact what was the trigger factor and everything so it, it can collect the data and events from firewalls intrusion detection and endpoint security solution as well you might wonder as i mean that that's the job of edr as well well the benefits of edr is quite higher because with edr you can also perform incident response as well you can uh, eradicate the malware from the network you can isolate the system from the network this is all can be possible right but the sim is all about giving you the analytics it collects the log and give you the analytics and then you can take a decision it help you with the log analysis normalizing and uh, normalization and the correlation of different logs alerting and uh, notification it also helps you with the compliance management like pci dss uh, hipaa compliances gdpr and, and everything let's talk about some of the popular tools so the first one is of course splunk this has the highest number higher market share currently it's recently being acquired by cisco so splunk is not cisco product ibm q radar logarithm securenix uh, elastic sim as well so these are some of the most popular tools in the market let's talk about the fifth one digital forensic and incident response tool now this is very important because let's say you got the incident in the network let's say it's the ransomware as a part of digital forensic you should have a capability to understand what is the overall outage in the network into the network if this is the malware how exactly it got into the network uh, what is it's uh, you know uh, uh, we might have to capture all the evidences from our hard disk from memory and everything or maybe from the network as well so this all include the digital forensic activity digital forensic is not just about acquiring the data or performing the analysis it's also about uh, you know following the proper legal process okay because if this involves uh, you know uh, th some threat actors national threats in those situation you might have to share those data with go government agencies as well so you have to follow a specific guidelines and this is part of digital forensics so uh, it help, digital forensics helps you with the incident response process it aims in uncovering a root cause of the incident as is the extent of the compromise develop help you develop the entire strategy in the network so there are multiple tools this has got this has to have multiple features but these are some of the most popular most popular digital forensics and incident response tool available in fact nksf forensic open text nksf forensic tool is even recognized by the uh, you know a court uh, when when your case is uh, when someone's case is going on in the uh, court this is where legal uh, you know agencies also prefer the nksf software autopsy is very popular uh slit uh, kit is also very popular wireshark is used is of course free is used to acquire an analysis of network traffic forensics mandate redline is also very much popular ftk uh, from xtero is is very good tool i personally used it um, this is also very celebrate it's also very popular tool as well for digital forensics all right so these are all the dfir tool in the market let's talk about the sixth tool which is the vulnerability scanners okay now this is uh, this is mostly mostly being performed by security analyst a different team member but it can also be performed by soc analyst if you work in a managed services environment so vulnerability scanners are like the one which puff, scan the network for known software vulnerabilities uh that attackers could exploit so this helps you to understand what are the vulnerabilities uh what are the known vulnerabilities currently exist in the in the application web application mobile application router switches or firewalls 
now once you detect those vulnerability you get a, a report saying that okay these are the vulnerabilities currently stay you know resides in your system now it's up to you what action you need to do so you perform the vulnerability assessment risk assessment and decide whether you want to mitigate those uh, mitigate that, that vulnerability or risk by applying the patches or you may want to transfer it or you want, may be comfortable in digesting the overall risk as well because of that vulnerability these are some of the popular vulnerability scanners tenable very very good good ui simple user interface and very popular qualys is also very good it's a it's, it's predominantly a cloud-based solutions greenborn um, gbm or we call it as uh, you know uh, it's, it's very very popular uh, this can be used for uh, performing vulnerability scanning it's completely free freely available uh, uh, then we have rapid 7 inside vm this is also a very very good tool by rapid 7 all right so next we have uh, tool number seven now this is for asset management asset inventory management look if you can't really uh, you can really protect something which you can't see so asset management asset inventory management tool involves in uh, you know tracking and monitoring every asset into the network what kind of asset it could be your router switches uh, access point it could be your you know uh, computer windows linux machine servers and in fact licenses as well licenses uh, what softwares you have what applications you have everything keeping a track of each of your IT assets is the asset management where you identify all of your IT assets you record them and you update those asset information as well so that's that's the job of uh, asset management which is which is usually done by SOC analyst sometime with the external security analyst team or as uh, system admin team as well IWNT is very very popular fresh service is also very good asset panda is also very very popular in this category okay now let's move to the eighth one which is the cyber asset attack surface management attack surface management is more of looking at the entire posture of the network uh, from the external view acts external assets as well. So this gives you a complete visibility living uh, you know visibility of your network from external um, external network external side uh, from outside in fact to identify any hidden vulnerabilities to ad identify any vulnerabilities across the entire entire network infrastructure so this is very very popular because the with uh, nowadays uh, all the GRC analyst and all the you know uh, high level meeting talk about the attack surface management tools this is this is mostly being handled by the SOC security analyst tool but all SOC analyst team can also leverage the same tool so these are some of the most popular tools run zero Hermes and land speaker uh, land speaker exonis exonius platform is also very much popular in it i have I haven't used all of them. I just use the Hermes uh, Centrix uh, uh, till now, and I really love the product. This is very, very pow powerful in terms of identifying all the vulnerabilities you have from the external world. This way, you take the defensive action to patch certain vulnerability which which wasn't possible from inside uh, from internal network. Right? You can implement the uh, security controls, mitigate the, all the risk as well accordingly. This also helps you with uh, addressing risk related to shadow IT, right? So your, your team or you, there are many departments within your company itself which might be using some, you know, some un unauthorized application. Maybe it's not unauthorized, it's just that, uh, let's say they're using application by themselves, right? Let's say you have a CRM tool but they might be using some something else themselves without letting the IT team know about it right so it's not really an suspicious activity malicious activity but it's just that it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not identified by the IT team itself right so that can be addressed by a tax surface management tool ninth and very very important tool is the ITSM tool it's the IT service management tool 
where you keep a track of every incident. So if you ha if you got an incident, so with ITSM tool, you can manage the overall incident, you can assign it to different team, and even the customers or anybody can create an incident, assign it to the SOC analyst, right? So in this category, we have a service now, which is very popular tool. Uh, second is the SolarWinds service desk. Third is manage engine. All right, so this is all we have in the top nine SOC analyst tool. I've categorized them based on their popularity, based on usage and my experience as well. All right, so let me know what you feel about all these tools. If you have any query, any question, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much.